Esterification. First of all, let's look at the uses of esters. I've climbed all the way up to the top of the Burj Al Ibi chemistry in Ibi Stan with some fruit. Now, esters have a fruity flavor and a fruity smell. Those, that's the terminology you should use. And actually, they're responsible. These chemicals are responsible for the smells and tastes of many fruits. They're quite easy to make artificially as well. And so things like Captain Crunch and drinks and other foodstuffs can be flavored artificially with esters. They have a very low toxicity. They also have an intermediate polarity. So they're very good at dissolving things. So they're used often for solvents, but you shouldn't smoke any of them because they're very, very flammable. And the predictable explosion ensues. If you get an alcohol and a carboxylic acid, you can react them together to make an ester and water. This is a condensation reaction. It makes the product, the ester, and a small other product, in this case, water. Warm it up is the conditions and add sulfuric acid. I wish I put sulfuric acid there instead of H+. Let's choose a simple alcohol, methanol, and a simple carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid. You have to draw the hydrogens in. I don't because uh, I've already got my IV qualification. Water comes off. Now you don't need to know the mechanism, but water comes off and then you can join the carboxylic acid to the alcohol and you've made the ester. If I write out the condensed formula, that's unambiguous there. And if you'd like to name it, imagine a pair of scissors that cuts along the carbon-oxygen bond but have both oxygens on the same side. You can name the left thing methyl and the ethanoate is on the right-hand side in this case. Let's look at another one. So propanol, that's rubbing alcohol. And if I was to warm that with sulfuric acid and a smidgen of methanoic acid, again, remove the water. You don't need to know the mechanism, and I've oversimplified the mechanism. That isn't the mechanism. Join them up again. Imagine scissors cutting along the carbon-oxygen bond with both oxygens on one side, and you've got a propyl and methanoate. Easy. And that's water, don't forget.